Hello, my name is Nicola Kirsch and you are watching a video about the installation of Mesa for Maya, an inversion of Maya, and to export for the SUS engine. So let's start. First, go on my website and then go go down to the download section download mesa it's not available here for the video but it will when you will watch this video so what since when the file has been saved on your drive just open it you need a place to extract it i prefer myself to have a short path and prevent to use white space it's not a problem with white space well when it's done open it open the, the directory mesa directory and go into config there is a mesa config bat file right click on it modify the most important variable environment variable to set are on the either just here so it's highlighted for you to see there is two others important variables but you don't need to to edit them so we just have installed mesa on g so I copy the path. Be sure I have the right path. Be careful to not have a white space at end. This is fatal. <laughs> so for installation, so do not do that. Steam directory is on G for me too. So well you can copy the path but be careful about the cut here it's very important at start not at end idem no white space here steam user this is important when you are using mesa with source 26 27 version 29 well, well, because the path is different than Steam Piper game, the path uh, into your name account, source engine, bin, and uh, 29, 27, 26, episode 1. So, Uh. Mine is Lodanum. No space, no white space at end. Idem. Maya version is important because I need to copy the path, the shelf on the right place on your hard drive. So I need that. It's important. Uh, 2012 for the x86 version if you want for x64 just add that 2030 x64 okay. Uh, oh, there's a list here for the right some the right uh, syntax. So when it's done, myself I was <coughs> sorry. Now I will use the 2012 version of Maya. I save with Control S. I close the file, and I execute the file in with run as administrator well 
the path are set but I will not show you exactly what is done on the system side so <coughs> first oh you need to install the shelf now we have the the path of me of Maya of your version of Maya so right click execute then you just copy a file as it's stored here if you have a problem with the shelf you can check here and here copy this file and see user my username document my document maya maya 2012 press shelves copy here so go back here it's okay I already execute this script mm, now I will explain you about workspace because it's important to work with <coughs> So um, we were working with this version. This is a um, personal version of the 2030 engine branch of the single player, the recent SDK that Valve has released. It is also the Team Fortress 2 branch. So um, let's start with that one and we show you the content of the batch file because you have to set few others environment variables. So here are the first one, you don't have to do something. If you are using uh, your own mod, you will have to edit the workspace name and the uh, name for the game project this name doesn't fit with the last change i made in in so small directory i will show you dreams so i will just change and edit this two variables okay so game project sources is the place where the workspace is it can be out of Mesa directory ah yes it can be out of the, the Mesa directory and so now that everything is set properly I control S and save exit and I run it again as administrator because sometimes it can have some problem well so it's preferable to use that way so now we will check what has been right on the on the environment variable settings so open the startup menu computers right click on it properties advanced uh, settings environment variables and so here we will see our variables there is a game project game project name game project sources maya script path there's a semicolon because there is several Maya script path and so the other path can be additionally push on the right of this path so Maya version 2012 Mesa directory is right source bin path it must have the code 
ER2, it's important. Well, why at the end? It's not a real logic to me, but with that, it refused. So, um, Steam Deer, Steam User, XBM Lang Path for the icon. Them with the semicolon at the end. V project. It is set on the proper. And is alright. So I can close everything. So now we just have to run Maya. And uh, before to export anything, it's important to set the active project. So it's uh, the path where is the workspace made file. This one. So file set project. Computer app. And and then 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 there's some more because I hide it some folder to be more clean. So boom, project. This is the one I sh I want. So set, and that's all right. We are okay. Just open the. Just activate the, the shelf so you can see that all uh, icons are there. And the information on the path tab as feedback tell you exactly the environment variables so you know i guess that is all right for now next tutorial will be about uh, export will be a very simple scene sort of cube with a uh, simple texture normal map and several little uh, experiment about the new icon here yeah, available from the shelf so thank you for watching don't forget to click on the like button on my website for facebook it's a source of motivation and if you encounter any sort of issues bugs you can uh, always uh, use my forum and post message so i will respond you that's all right thank you for watching